inspirations Start lining God's with sensations Well, thank you for tuning in to the broadcast. I am so excited that you are here. Do me a favor, take a moment to like and share this broadcast. If you don't mind, take a moment to like and share. I want to share with you, and I'm gonna do it too. I'm gonna take a moment to like and share, but I want to share with you how to support gospel music and the gospel community in real time. So that's my desire today. And um, while we're before we do that, I want to just take a moment to like and share uh, the broadcast. So I'm going to do it now, and hopefully you will do it too. Uh, so if you're tuning in, we want to learn how to support gospel music as well as to support the gospel community live and in real time. I am actually taking a moment to like and share the broadcast on all of my pages, and hopefully you will do it as well. If you want to be acknowledged, let me say this, if you would like to be acknowledged, go ahead and say something in the comments section, and I will acknowledge you uh, in the conversation. So if you would like to be acknowledged, go ahead and say something in the comments section, and I'll acknowledge you. But again, take a moment to like it and uh, share it, if you don't mind. I just kind of want to show you how to support gospel music in real time. In real time. That's my charge today. All right. So I have liked on all of my pages. And again, if you're tuned in, if you want to be acknowledged, go ahead and say something in the comment section and I will acknowledge you. But um, here we go. I'm so excited. I haven't been on live as much as I'd like to be. And so I'm going to try my best moving forward to, to be on live. All right, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Derek, for taking a moment to, to like. All right, so we're live. I'm excited that you're here. I want to just share with you how to support gospel music live and in real time. I, I really kind of want to prove a point. Uh, hey, Bernard, good to see you, sir. Uh, hey, Vare Kilby, I hope I said that right, uh, tuning in from San Antonio, Texas. I love to know where you're tuning in from. Bernard, uh, let me know where you're tuning in from. If you're, you're live in real time, uh, let me know where you're tuning in from. And of course, if you're watching the replay later, you can tell me where you're tuning in from too. But um, uh, good to see you from San Antonio, Texas. And um, But anyway, so I'm here to share with you how to support gospel music live and in real time. And I want to prove that people really do support gospel music. You know, I often hear that, you know, people don't support gospel music. And I just don't believe that. I believe we really do support gospel music. Uh, Derek, hey, man. Hey, Bernard. Uh, I figured uh, I wanted to just make sure you were still in Atlanta before I shouted out Atlanta. But uh, glad you're still in Atlanta. Glad you're still uh, doing good. You got to come on the broadcast with me one day. You got music, man. I want to talk to you. Uh, Derek, I'm going to assume that means the Bahamas. I hope so. <laughs> if not, let me know, Derek, where you're tuned in from. Do me a favor to like and share. If you're looking at me and I'm looking at you, take a moment to like and share on the broadcast. I want to show you how to support gospel music live and in real time. Okay, good, Derek. I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you for tuning in from the Bahamas. Take a moment to like and share. Now, listen, I was so excited today. I've been to the post office several times today because the June 2020 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine has finally shipped. <laughs> Let me just say this. 
<sighs> but I'm just so glad it has finally shipped uh, and it's going to homes starting today. Uh, we put the 2022 issue of the June uh, magazine together and it features the top indie quartet issue. And in this issue, it has such groups such as Bobby Wilson and the Chosen Ones, um, Glory Story, Faithful and Determined. Faithful and Determined is the name of the group. The latest release is titled Glory Story, Flossie Boy Johnson and Favor, Prayer Will Change Things. Uh, I think right here from, I'm in Houston, Texas currently, and right here in Houston, Texas, the group is titled For the Lord, For the Lord, I'm Going to Do Your Will is the title of theirs. Uh, also, George Dickens and the Gospel Disciples, Romans 828 is the name of their project, and so many others. I'll be telling you more about them as the, the day, or the, as the broadcast goes along, but this is it. This is the June 2022 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. I'm going to share with you in just a few short moments how you can support gospel music and the gospel community live and in real time. That's my goal today, to show you how to support gospel music live and in real time. So I'm going to take a moment. I want you to take a moment to like and share. And then I'm going to take a quick break. And when we come back from the break, I'm going to share with you how you can support gospel music live and in real time. So uh, do me a favor, like and share. Let's take a break and we'll be back right after this. W. Robinson presents Gospel Updates. Gospel Updates is the who, what, when, why, and where in the gospel music industry. Gospel Updates is a monthly magazine, weekly newsletter, video webcast, as well as a podcast. Gospel Updates has over 25 years of featuring people in the gospel music community. Gospel Updates magazine and the new Gospel Updates weekly newsletter document those who are continuing to help shape and write new chapters of this ever-evolving story of gospel. Go to www.gospelupdates.com That's www.gospelupdates.com to get the latest issues. If you want to be featured, call or text 337-214-4046 or email gospelupdates at gmail.com for rates and details. Gospel Updates, featuring people in the gospel community for over 25 years. You're listening to The Larry W. Robinson Show. Years. You're listening to The Larry W. Robinson Show. I'm going to get this. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get the audio uh, from doubling. Next time we take a commercial break, but thank you, Bernard, for letting me know that. I forget that I have to mute this microphone when we take a commercial break, so that's why. So you should be hearing me in single audio now. Let me know before I move too far in the broadcast. Let me know if you just hear me once, and if so, I will continue. If not, I will try to figure it out, but I really think you should only be hearing me one time now instead of twice. Uh, while we work on that, take a moment to like and share the broadcast. All good. Okay, thanks, Bernard. All right, so I want to share with you how you can support gospel music and the gospel community live and in real time. It can be done, and we can prove it. I often hear people say that, you know, people don't support gospel music anymore, and I just really don't think that's true. And so I want to prove that people really do like gospel music, and people really do support gospel music. And so I'd like to try to prove it in real time. And I'd like for you to help me do that. And here's how you can help me do that. The June issue of the Gospel Updates magazine is available now. Now, let me say this. The July issue is at print now and it will be available soon. So the July issue is at print. It will be available soon. But the June issue is available now and it features top quartets from across the country. Here is how you can support live and in real time. And we get to show people that are either watching us live or watch the replay that people really do like gospel music and support gospel music live and in real time. Now, this issue features 
uh, the Quartets, but it also features some incredible artists in the marketplace that you can check out. Now, if you want to be featured in the Gospel Updates Marketplace, uh, hit me up on the website and I'll show you how to how to do that. But we have such artists as Kimberly Jackson. I just met her uh, uh, last weekend, actually. She was in a play here in Houston, Texas. Well, she has a new single titled Higher. And uh, it's available now. It sounds good. I think you'll be tremendously blessed by it. Also in the marketplace, we have uh, Sean Xavier. He has a new single titled That Is You. And then, of course, from Houston, uh, Mike Berry, or Mike P. Berry, he has a single and a video out on YouTube. Uh, it's available now. It's titled In Your Presence. So many other artists are featured in the marketplace. One of my favorite artists uh, also has a podcast that I like to listen to, uh, Sharon Rochelle. That podcast is titled The Authentic Life. The Authentic Life. Uh it's available. You can just search The Authentic Life or you can put in Sharon Rochelle and it'll pull up. So many other people are featured in the Gospel Updates Marketplace. To find out more, go ahead and go to, you can actually go to gospelupdates.com forward slash marketplace. And if you would like to be featured, just go to gospelupdates.com for more information. Now, here is how you can support gospel music as well as the gospel community live and in real time. All you have to do is go to gospelupdates.com, that's www.gospelupdates.com, and secure a copy of the June issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. It is available now, uh, and I think I only have, let's see here, I only have a few of these copies left. So what I'd like to do live and in real time is to, if you want to be shouted out, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and take your order live, if you go to the website and do it. And then I'm going to package it and get it ready to be shipped to you. And it'll go in the mail on tomorrow. That's how you can support gospel music live and in real time. I hear people often say that people don't support gospel music. I really don't believe that. And so I want to prove to people that people really do support gospel music and the gospel community. How you could do that today is to simply go to gospelupdates.com. I give you permission <laughs> to go to it while I'm broadcasting live. If you have to kind of come off the screen, or I think Facebook allows you to shrink the screen so you can actually shrink the screen and go to gospelupdates.com. Simply click on the current magazine and I'm going to do it. Make sure it, I think it's working, but just to make sure it's working in real time. So you go to gospelupdates.com. When you get there, this is what you will see. And then the magazine is literally right there. You can't miss it. And so then you just click on the magazine live and in real time. And then you get to this page, which has the magazine again. And then you just click it. And from there, you can order it live and in real time. Uh, when you do, if I see your notification come up here, uh, uh, if you want to be acknowledged, if you do it, say done. And if you want to be acknowledged, I'll acknowledge you um, live and in real time. Let me also say this. This is the, again, this is the June issue. It's available now at gospelupdates.com. I also have, I think, two of the copies of the May issue left, which features Bruce Murray. It also has uh, Nikki Berry, Ro Roderick Bashan, Tiffany R. Sings, and the Firesome Brothers. They're all featured in the May issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. Uh, Bruce Murray has a, a powerful testimony. You can learn more about it in the Gospel Updates, the May issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. Uh, I want to say thank you to, let's do it live in the real time. Come on, Bernard. Oh, man, you rock, sir. Uh, Bernard Williams from um, Atlanta, Georgia, proving that people do support gospel music live in the real time. So thank you so very much. So, uh, Bernard, I'm going to uh, hook this up right here while you're watching me so you you know that we packed it up and it's available oh let me make sure you did do the uh yeah the june issue so i'm gonna get you a june issue and each um each magazine is gonna come with a, a special gift so i'm gonna try to put this special gift in here without really uh kind of giving it away what i'm doing so um yeah, I'm going to package this nice, nicely for you, Bernard. Again, thank you so very much. 
live and in real time. People really do support gospel music. And um, we really do support the gospel community. So I really just kind of wanted to come on live and in real time to prove to people that, hey, people support gospel music and people really do love gospel music and support it. I know I do. I've often, um, one of my friends told me I was at an event and, um, you know, all the artists was there and, hey, I'm Larry W. Robinson. I host gospel updates. I publish the magazine. And oftentimes people do really try to bless me with music and stuff. But oftentimes I'm actually purchasing uh, the music live and in real time, live and on the spot too. All right. Uh -oh. Let's see here. But now I don't want to hook you. Oh, here we go. Matter of fact, I want to prove something too. I'll be right back. I want to show you something just so you know that I support gospel music too. I'm off to, okay, thanks, man. He says he's off to a family uh, movie night. Love you, honor your heart, bless you. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate you. I'm going to get this package, package up for you and put it in the mail for you tomorrow. I want to show you something also, just so you can, so I can prove that I also support the gospel community. <clears throat> I want you to see. I want you to see that I, I practice what I preach. So um, again, if you're just tuning in, I want to thank Bernard Williams from Atlanta, Georgia. He uh, took a moment to support gospel music live and in real time. Uh, he's off to a mu uh, family movie night. But um, we bless him, and we believe that what he has done today will come back to him a hundredfold. <clears throat> okay, so I want to prove to you that I practice what I preach, and I also support gospel music. So recently, I, uh, if you've been watching Gospel Updates TV, you can see that by going to Gospel Updates TV or gospelupdates.com forward slash TV. And you'll see that recently I did an interview with Deja Crawford, uh, Crawford Greathouse. I don't know why, but I call her entire name every time I do. But uh, Deja Crawford Greathouse, you'll know her from the group Anointed. They had such songs as God is All Around and all those kinds of songs. But this is Deja. Now, she has new music titled Everything Changes. And I've been trying to get a physical copy. I wanted to do this with a physical copy, but it's available for digital download. So she doesn't have a physical copy of that, but she had a physical copy of Arms Wide Open and I purchased it. Now I interviewed her a couple of weeks ago and then I invited her on the Christina Lockett show that is broadcast live from Raise the Praise 100 in Houston, Texas. So she was our guest on Wednesday night and I was so excited to pull this out of my bag to show her that I had purchased her CD and she autographed it for me uh, on the spot. So I really do practice what I preach. Um, Kimberly, Lady Kimberly Jackson, she's actually featured in the June issue of the Gospel Updates magazine in the marketplace. And so she supported me. And so when I saw her live in a stage play and she had her music sitting on the table, I supported her live and in real time. People really do support gospel music. Also, another young lady that was featured in the play is Tina Nims. I hope I said this right, Boston. But her current single is titled My Faith and My Fight. She had her CD on the table and I purchased it live and in real time. Also, I was, where was I? I got these things. Oh, I know I was. I went to a, um, a concert uh maybe two sundays ago and i saw these gentlemen uh, at that concert my boy jermaine invited me to this concert and i kind of want to tell you about it so he invited me to a concert from crane production presents beautiful me beautiful you and it's by an artist named chris crane and these artists was there, were there, Marcus Adams, and his project is titled Reset. And uh, I bought it live and in real time. And then there was another artist there named Darius Owens, and his is titled Love and Life. And I purchased his in real time, too. And then, of course, um, um, there was another artist, uh, well, um, Chris Crane, 
his uh, his music wasn't there, but he we got it on digital, so we were able to download it. But so people really do support others' musical journeys, and I wanted to just kind of prove that what you make happen for other people, God will make happen to you. So if oftentimes I hear artists, and do me a favor, like and share this so other people will be able to hear this, even if they come on the replay. Um, but what you make happen for other people, God has a way of bringing that thing back to you. And so um, I just want to prove that live and in real time, people really do support gospel music. So here's how you can participate. All I ask is that you go to gospelupdates.com, go to gospelupdates.com. And get the latest issue, issue of Gospel Updates magazine. Now, this, the July issue, I'm excited to say it is at Prince. <laughs> it will be coming soon. But the June issue is available now. You can support gospel music live and in real time by going to gospelupdates.com and simply just clicking on the, the cover of this magazine and getting it. And I'd love to shout you out. Um, Bernard Williams just did it from Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm just gonna actually get him together real quick, live and in real time. So if you would like a shout out, just simply go ahead and purchase the June issue of the Gospel Updates magazine, and then come back here and click done. And I'll shout you out live and in real time. So while I'm doing that, I do want to go ahead and get Bernard right on together and thank him for supporting us live and in real time. So if you're watching me, do me a favor and go to gospelupdates.com. That's gospelupdates.com. And that's with the nest. And I think it's scrolling down at the bottom of your screen and purchase the June issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. And once you do it, come back here and click done. And I just kind of want to give you a shout out live on the while I'm broadcasting here. And of course, if you do it on the replay, thank you too. But if you're joining me live, I'd like to shout you out live and in real time, like I'm doing Bernard Williams from Atlanta, Georgia. He's actually a recording artist. He has a lot of great music and hopefully we can get him on the broadcast soon so we can talk all about it. But uh, just kind of want to give a shout out to Bernard Williams for supporting gospel music live and in real time. If you would like to support gospel music live and in real time, I encourage you to go to gospelupdates.com. Click on the June issue of the Gospel Updates magazine, purchase it, and then come back here and say done. Hey, Victor Corey. Just seeing your messages. Okay. He says blessings. And then, of course, support is essential. Absolutely. Also, um, Margie Hernandez, I think it's how you say that. Bless you as well. And thank you for tuning in. Do me a favor, like and share. I'm just getting Bernard together here. I'd love to get yours together by um, if you go to gospelupdates.com. And then purchase the June 2022 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. Uh, I'd love to ship this to you on tomorrow, obviously, because the mail is closed. The post office is closed today. All right. Now, we're talking about the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. It features Bobby Wilson and the Chosen Ones, uh, Faithful and Determined, Flossie Boyd and Favor. Also, For the Lord, George Dickens and the Gospel Disciples. Uh, also featured in here is Mary Pugh and the Pew Singers, the Dynamic Abraham Brothers. Okay, perfect. Um, the New Christianaires also featured in here. The Veal Brothers, David Hammond and the Chosen Disciples are featured in this issue. Uh, J Soul and God's Creation is featured in this issue. Pastor Dwayne Charleston is featured in this issue, as well as Pastor Skylar Patterson and Predestined is featured in this issue. And then Ron and Reborn is featured in this issue. And 
Veronica and the Blazing Stars are featured in the June 22 issue, the 22 edition of the Gospel Updates magazine. Now, if you're tuning in, if you're just joining us, I'd like to show you how you can support gospel music and the gospel community live and in real time, kind of like Bernard Williams from Atlanta, Georgia did earlier. All you have to do is go to gospelupdates.com, click on the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine, purchase it, and then come back and say, done. And uh, that's simple. Simple request. Go to gospelupdates.com, click on the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine, and um, support. I have something special coming up after the break. I'm going to take a quick break, and when we come back from the break, I will have that information for you. Stay tuned, Stay tuned for the Larry, Larry W. W. Robinson, Robinson Show. Show. Celebrated media personality Larry W. Robinson presents Gospel Updates. Gospel Updates is the who, what, when, why, and where in the gospel music industry. Gospel Updates is a monthly magazine, weekly newsletter, video webcast, as well as a podcast. Gospel Updates has over 25 years of featuring people in the gospel music community. Gospel Updates magazine and the new Gospel Updates weekly newsletter document those who are continuing to help shape and write new chapters of this ever-evolving story of gospel. Go to www.gospelupdates.com. That's www.gospelupdates.com to get the latest issues. If you want to be featured, call or text 337-214-4046 or email gospelupdates at gmail.com for rates and details. Gospel Updates, featuring people in the gospel community for over 25 years. You're listening to The Larry W. Robinson Show. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Blessings to you, Camia. I hope I'm saying that right. Blessings to you. Do me a favor. If you're just tuning in to the broadcast or if you've been tuning in this entire time, take a moment to like and share. Take a moment to like and share. Come on, Victor Corey. I see you here, buddy. Uh, Victor, I appreciate you for supporting the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. Now, here's the deal. I want to prove to you live and in real time that people really do like gospel music and support gospel music. And so one of the ways that we can prove that is to show support live and in real time. And so Bernard Williams was with us earlier and he showed support live and in real time. And then Victor Corey uh, is live and in real time and just showed support. And you can see that he clicked done right there. So thank you so very much, Corey. I'm going to hook you up real quickly. And um, while I'm doing that, if you have not had, an, if you're watching me for the first time and you have not had an opportunity to check out Gospel Updates, I uh, give you permission <laughs> to go ahead and go to gospelupdates.com and I'll be in the next. Oh, come on, sir. Speak it. Speak it. That's also another way you can ensure that you uh, are in the next issue. But uh, go to gospelupdates.com and click on the contact form. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Go to gospelupdates.com and click on the Be Featured tab. It's right at the top. And you'll see how you can be featured in the next issue. Now, unfortunately, the next issue, not unfortunately, but July issue is already at the printer. So you missed that one. But if you want to be featured in another issue, the next available issue will actually be uh, July, August, the August issue. Um, yeah. So. But thank you for your interest and thank you for your support. I'm getting ready to hook you up right on the spot. And uh, each issue is going to come with a, a, a little gift. And so I'm going to try to put this gift in here without you seeing it so that you can get it when you see it. But uh, Victor Corey, I do thank you for your support. And um, all right, here we go. Get you in there. All right, so to show your support in real time, just simply go to gospelupdates.com. Click on the uh, June 22 issue, purchase it, and just show your support live and in real time. I uh, often hear people saying that, you know, people don't support gospel music. Well, I don't believe that. And so I wanted to come on live 
and in real time, just so you can see that people really do like gospel music and people really do support gospel music. So Corey, thank you so very much. I'm hooking you up right now. Uh, if you'd like to show your support for gospel music live and in real time, go to gospelupdates.com and click on the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine, make a purchase, and then I'll shout you out right here live while I'm broadcasting live and in real time. Um, Victor Corey, thank you so very much. I appreciate you. And I am actually hooking you up right now, <clears throat> live and in real time. If you're watching me for the first time and you have not had an opportunity to hear about Gospel Updates magazine, I encourage you to go to gospelupdates.com. That's gospelupdates.com. And just kind of click around. The, the current issue is the June 22 issue. But if you click on features, you can see some of the other issues. And I'll tell you about some of those other issues in a moment. But I just kind of want to hook up Co uh, Victor Corey real quick so that I can get him in the mail on tomorrow so that you can get it next week. And so I send these out uh, priority. So you will get them the quickest way possible so that you're not waiting. I learned my lesson. I used to send them out media mail and they took forever. So if you just FYI, if you do uh, shipping for uh, your customers and clients or people that support you, uh, go ahead and ship that thing out priority <laughs> so that they're not waiting uh, forever in a day. Like, you know, people do send it out media mail especially if you're sending out like a book or something or a CD, you can send it out media mail and save a few dollars, but then people are waiting and waiting and waiting. And I just believe if, you know, people take time to support you, um, go ahead and go ahead and send it out the fastest way possible. So um, that's why the shipping, if you clicked and you saw the shipping, that's why the shipping is that price so that I can send this out to you as fast as possible so that you're not waiting on it and you can get it. So, Victor, I got you all covered. You'll get that on next next week. You sent me an invitation. You sent me an invitation in December. Has that window been closed? Text me. Text me. Let's talk about that because I want to I want kind of want, want clarity on that. So let me put my number here for you, Victor. Text me. And we'll talk about that. Let me know if that came through. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Just text me. We'll talk about it. All right. So if you're watching me, thank you so very much. Take a moment to like and share this broadcast before we move. I see several of you tuning in. Just take a moment. It only takes a second to like and share the broadcast. And uh, if you saw the title, I'd like to prove live and in real time that people really do like gospel music and people really do support gospel music as well as the gospel community. And so, so far, we want to say thank you to Bernard Williams from Atlanta, Georgia. He's a worship artist. Uh, and I've interviewed him in, in the past, but I, I want to talk to him um, in recent days because he has new music and we want to talk about that as well. Uh, also, Victor Corey, he supported. Victor is from uh, Florida, and so we appreciate Victor Corey for watching us in real time and supporting in real time. You can do it as well. All you have to do is go to gospelupdates.com, click on the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine, make an order, and I'd love to shout you out. All you have to do is come back here and say done, and I, that'll uh, alert me to go and look, and if I see you there, I'll shout you out and let people know that, hey, you're you're live in real time. You like gospel music and you're supporting gospel music. All right. So this is the June 22 issue of the magazine. I also want to show you the May 22 issue of the magazine featuring Bruce Murray, as well as Nikki Berry, Roderick Bashan, uh, Tiffany R. Sings, as well as the Fireson Brothers. And then if you miss this one, this is my dude right here. I'm sorry. I just I think he's one of the coolest pastors in, in America today. And he's a, such a great support. But uh, this is Bishop Designate Tyrone Jefferson out of one of my favorite cities in Louisiana, New Orleans, Louisiana. And um, he has a, a ministry. They, it's affectionately known as the tab. He's also a media personality, too. But uh, 
incredible guy. Uh, the man, the music, excuse me, the man, the ministry and the music. Uh, this is a great issue. Um, we got to interview him. He has some great stuff to say. And then also in here, let me try to see. If, oh, there we go. Uh, Dr. Robert Watkins is in this issue. Justin Dewan France is in this in this issue. And my friend Prof, Prophet Yahshua is in this issue as well. It is available. I think I have, uh, let me see, I got two more copies of this one. So if you don't have this one, you can get this one as well. But um, great, great, great issues. I have two more of the May 22 issue available. If you don't have it, you can get this as well by going to gospelupdates.com. And then every issue is going to come with a free gift. And so um, Bernard and Victor, I'm going to hook you up. Uh, with the free gift. All right. Uh oh, I think I only have two more issues. Let's see. Mm. Let's see. I only have, okay. So I have three issues of this magazine. We did a big shipment today, and uh, I kind of showed some of them on Facebook. So if you follow me on, on Facebook or Instagram, I kind of showed some of those. Uh, let me tell y'all something. The folk in the, in the post office, they get a little nervous when I come with that big old. Uh, Shipping the magazines, but hey, <laughs> I love shipping uh, gospel updates magazines around the world, and so we did that today. Do me a, a, a favor, take a moment to like and share this broadcast again. I want to say thank you to Bernard Williams as well as Victor Corey for supporting gospel music today. Uh, I'm here to show you that uh, people really do like gospel music as well as people really do support gospel music, and so if you would like to be a part of that. I encourage you to go to gospelupdates.com. That's gospelupdates.com. And simply order the June 22 issue of Gospel Updates magazine. Once you have done that, come back over here and say, done. Listen, I'm going to take another break, and then I'm going to come back, and I have something I want to share with you. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for the Larry, Larry W. Robinson, Robinson Show. show. Celebrated media personality Larry W. Robinson presents Gospel Updates. Gospel Updates is the who, what, when, why, and where in the gospel music industry. Gospel Updates is a monthly magazine, weekly newsletter, video webcast, as well as a podcast. Gospel Updates has over 25 years of featuring people in the gospel music community. Gospel Updates magazine and the new Gospel Updates weekly newsletter document those who are continuing to help shape and write new chapters of this ever-evolving story of gospel. Go to www.gospelupdates.com. That's www.gospelupdates.com to get the latest issues. If you want to be featured, call or text 337-214-4046 or email gospelupdates at gmail.com for rates and details. Gospel Updates, featuring people in the gospel community for over 25 years. You're listening to The Larry W. Robinson Show. All right. Thank you so very much for tuning in to the broadcast. Do me a favor. Take a moment to like and share, like and share uh, the broadcast. Victor, we're going to fight. <laughs> Victor Corius, he says, I released my EP today, Victor, <laughs> but I'll be texting you. Yes, please text me and I'll show you how you can get in one of the Gospel Updates publications since you obviously missed the, the June and the July and the July issue of the Gospel Updates uh, magazine. But there's still an opportunity for you, Victor. Text me at 337-214-4046. Uh, uh, and I'll show you how you can you can get coverage. Uh, let me also say um, congratulations goes out to uh, Ki Lady Kimberly Jackson. Her current single is titled Higher. I, uh, she's actually featured in the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine as well. And uh, she... Uh, was in a play recently and she had a table out there and I showed her support uh, by purchasing her CD. And then also I had uh, Deidre Crawford Greathouse on the same platform a couple of weeks ago. And then I invited her on the Christina Lockett show that airs on uh, Raise the Praise 100 in Houston, Texas. 
and she actually came live and in person to the studio. And I was so excited to pull this out to show her that I had purchased uh, this CD. And uh, as you can see, she autographed it for me. And so I'm excited about that. People really do like gospel music and people really do support gospel music. Uh, I'd like for you to prove that to people, simply, even the people that come and watch the replay. Uh, I'd like for you to prove that people like gospel music and that people support gospel music. How can you do that? By going to gospelupdates.com. That's www.gospelupdates.com and simply purchase the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. When you do, after you do that, come on back over here and click done. And I will see, I will look and see that your order ha has come through. And then of course, I will take care of you live right here on the spot. People don't understand how, so, um, people don't understand how important support, yep. You know what? That's a word, sir. <laughs> that is so true. That's why I try to uh, so support in advance. The Bible says it this way. He will give seed to the sower. He will give seed to the sower. I always have something to sow, as, as Mr. William Murphy says, because I have seed in the ground. I really do. I have seed in the ground. I try to sow, I try to sow as often as I can. Um, and so I believe that's why the Lord sustains me because I have seed in the ground. A lot of people wondering, a lot of people are in drought because they don't continuously put seed in the ground. Uh, take a moment. It doesn't take, it's not a lot, you know. Uh, yeah, seed in the ground. Take a moment to support people. And um, and I, let me just say, today I went to the post office. I was at the post office with old magazines, and um, I just begin to just decree and declare blessings over people that had that took time to go to the website, click a button, take their credit card, all that kind of stuff, and and so, and so into what we're doing. Uh, I believe that even you know people. I don't. I don't. I, I guess it's just me, but I don't really see it like a um, a order type thing. I see it as people sowing into what we're doing. And so when you sow, I just believe that harvest comes to you. And so I just begin to decree and declare, Lord, we thank God for all of the people that have purchased this magazine. Bless them indeed. Enlarge that territory. Increase them ever the more. And just begin to just say that to um, cause the, the waves, waves of favor to open up in their lives. Let people, I decree this over my life and I, I started to decree this over people that sow into me because as Holy Spirit told me one day, I am going to bless those that bless you. And so I believe that people will go out of their way to bless me. I see it all the time. People just go out of their way to be nice to me. And so I decree and declare that those that sow into me, people will go out of their way to be extremely nice to them, to cause waves of favor to, to open for them, to cause doors to even open for them. I believe that wholeheartedly, that when you bless somebody, God will cause that thing to come back to you. And so if you want people to, if you want blessings and favor and all that to come into your life, Take a moment to be a blessing to somebody else. You want people to buy? It amazes me. I didn't get on here to talk about this, but it amazes me that artists, recording artists, will record music, want people to buy their music and support them, but have not purchased anybody else's music. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> why, why? How do you want somebody to purchase your music and you haven't purchased anybody else's music? I had an artist that that's kind of making that complaint, like, oh, man, people not buying my music. Blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, OK, well, whose music have you purchased lately? Not just streamed, but whose music have you said click, click order? And they was like, oh, I hadn't really purchased anybody's music lately. And you want people to purchase your music? So I said I told him I challenge you for the next seven days every day, purchase somebody's music and watch what happened. So for seven days, they started purchasing people's music and then they saw people purchasing their music. Oh, people started um, tagging them saying, hey, I got your CD. Hey, I downloaded, you know, blah, 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 blah. the way it happens is if you sow, the Bible says it so clearly, he will give seed to the sower. 
So take a moment to sow. You can do it now live while we're in real time. Uh, go to gospelupdates.com, click on it and click the June issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. Purchase it and I will shout you out live and in real time. I do want to take a moment to say thank you to Banal Williams out of Atlanta, as well as Victor Corey out of Florida for purchasing and supporting gospel music live and in real time. I encourage you to do the same. Go to gospelupdates.com, click the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. I'd love to shout you out. So even if you leave the broadcast to go do that, when you come back, click done. And I'll know that you, I'll go look and see that you have purchased the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. And I'd love to give you a shout out live and in real time. Now, if you do the replay, if you're watching this, if you watch the replay or you're watching the replay, go ahead and, and do it. And then of course, the next time I'm live, I'll take a moment to shout you out as well. Let me do this because this is just some of the people that did it today. Let me just do some of the people that did it today. I want to thank Timothy Abbott. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, out of Texas for supporting earlier today. I also want to thank Kenneth Williams um, out of Virginia for supporting. I want to thank Arthur Abraham out of South Carolina for supporting. I want to thank um, Janice Woods from another person from South Carolina for supporting. These are just some of the people that supported the, the magazine to, to today. Oh, okay. So thank you so very much. If you want to um, support Gospel Music Live in the Real Time, go to gospelupdates.com and click on the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. Click order. And then come back here and click done and i'll shout you out in real time now let me say this i'm so excited i had an opportunity to interview auric quick now you might that name might sound familiar because not long ago there was a talk show called the preachers not to be confused <laughs> with the preachers of la of course you know the preachers of la was the show that had Jamal, no, that, that had uh, Dietrich Hatton, Noel Jones was on there, and um, Bishop Clarence McClendon, I think, was on that show. But this particular talk show was titled The Preachers, and on that talk show titled The Preachers, they had Jamal Harrison Bryant, um, Pastor E, well, excuse me, Pastor Jamal Harrison Bryant, Pastor E. Dewey Smith, Pastor John Gray, and then Pastor Oric Quick was on there. Well, Oric has a new book titled Your Reign Over, uh, Your Reign is Over, uh, Revealing the Enemy's Greatest Tactics. It's by Pastor Oric Quick, and that's that. And then let me just kind of show you this picture. There he is. Of course, he was um, one of the um, preachers that was on the talk show titled The Preachers. Well, he has a book that's available, Your Reign is Over. I am going to be sharing that interview that we did at on Gospel Updates TV. And all you have to do is go to gospelupdates.com and click the little uh, drop down button that says TV. And that interview will be up soon. So look out for that. But it's from uh, Oric Quick. The book is titled Your Reign is Over. We had an insightful conversation, and I look forward to sharing that with you soon. All right. I think I've been on here probably an hour or so. So thank you so very much for tuning in. I just wanted to come on real quickly and prove that people really do like gospel music and people really do support gospel music. And I want to encourage you to do so. Uh, if you even don't, if you don't do it today, if you remember later, say, "Hey, I remember Larry was talking about supporting gospel music." Let me go over there and purchase a copy of the Gospel Updates magazine. Uh, uh, I will thank you, but it's the June issue that is available now. The July 22 issue is already done. It's already at the printer and it's on the way. So if you want to be featured in another issue, it will be the Ju the August issue. So, Victor, if you want to wait till August or I have another publication, Victor, that you can be featured in. But the next magazine is actually going to be coming in August because June is already printed and has been shipped. I have uh, one, two, three copies left. And then the 
July issue has already printed and on the way. And then the next available magazine that you can be in is going to be the August 22 issue. So look, my buddy, what's up, Eric Maurice Clark? Hey, man. Speaking of Eric, let me just show you something. I'm so excited that Eric came on here. Let's see here. Eric, Eric, Eric. So Eric, um, yes, so which one, which, whichever one of, oh, okay, perfect. So let me talk about, okay, uh, Corey, let's talk about Eric. So Eric uh, hit me up probably, what, two years ago? Eric, help me with the story, man. <laughs> probably about two years ago. And um, I, th- I want to say, let me take it back. I want to say VJ McCoy out of Chicago connected me with Eric, with Eric Marie, uh, Maurice Clark. I want to say that's how that happened. But either way, um, we started featuring Eric Maurice Clark in the Gospel Updates magazine. He was writing an article for us each week. And then he hit me up and said, hey, I got this idea and I want you to help me. And I was like, oh, okay." And so he started a coffee table magazine. At that time, it was titled. uh, He said, you saw the photo I had posted of you and Dennis Cole. You saw the photo I had. Yes, that's what it was. Okay, I remember. So, yes, I did see that. All right. But he he said, I have this idea for a coffee table magazine. And at the time, it was titled Inside Gospel Music, a historic uh, historian's world, uh, the coffee table magazine. And this is actually volume eight. And um, I love it. I really, really love it. Like he he uh, let me tell you about that boy. That boy I got this thing. And look, look who's featured in here. <laughs> Yours truly. Oh, that is hilarious. But let me just say this. So Eric, he kind of reminds me of myself. Like if if you followed me over the years, you'll know I am not lying. I am telling the absolute truth. But back in the day, I used to do gospel singing on the spot. Saints of God, I used to travel on my own dime (laughs) from New York to California. Now I'll take that back. Uh, one time, my friend, I got to give him credit, my friend Calvin Bonds, he's an a actor and a model out of Los Angeles, California. He brought me for my, for my birthday to Los Angeles, California. And they treated me, him and his, his company treated me really, really nicely. But they also brought me to West Angeles Church of God in Christ. So you can go on YouTube and, and watch this. But I was so privileged to put the music staff or the group at West Angeles Church of God in Christ titled Extension on the Spot to Sing. And then I got to feature some of those individual singers from Extension on the Spot to Sing. One of them uh, includes David Daughtry, who has a new project. I'm going to try to interview him coming up soon. But he's on there and um, some others. So you can actually just search uh, Larry W. Robinson and Gospel Singing on the Spot, and you can see them and, and Kim Burrell and Vicky Winans and just a whole bunch of people um, that I've done over the years. Now, I must say my most popular gospel singing on the spot that you can see is with Zael. They they were from Shreveport, Louisiana. And I think a couple of the members uh, have moved to other places. But I want to say Christina uh, is still over in Shreveport. And I want to say her sister is there, too. And, of course, you'll know Christina from the uh, Clark Sisters movie. She played Twinkie Clark. But um, anyway, long story short, uh, I use it. Eric kind of reminds me of what I did back in the day. I used to just travel on my own dime uh, and, and put all these artists on the spot to sing. And uh, and then back in the day, I'm, I'm dating myself, but uh, I... Uh, <laughs> I put this on my space. That's why I used to put the the, the clips of the, the artist. And let me just say this. Even before that, when we did gospel singing on the spot, we were doing everyday people. We were not doing artists. And so, and it was so funny. People would call, Larry, you need to call this singer out of this city and put them on the spot, da, da, da. And so we did that. And just so you can hear the story from my own mind, one day I was on the phone talking to an artist named Izzy. And I want to say at the time, Izzy was either in California or Izzy was either in New York. 
But either way, I think he's flopped. So if he's in New York now, he was in California at the time. Or if he's in California now, he was in New York at the time. But either way, I was on the phone interviewing him because I think he had dropped a, a single or something. And uh, he was an indie artist, too, at the time. And so as I'm interviewing Izzy, I had another artist friend of mine. I'm really getting ready to tell my age. But he was on Yahoo Instant Messenger. Y'all remember that? <laughs> I don't think people even use that anymore, but we were talking on Yahoo Instant Messenger. And so as I'm talking to Izzy, my other artist friend is on Yahoo Instant Messenger because we were talking. And then he said, um, man, what you doing? Why are you taking so long? And I was like, oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm actually talking to an artist named Izzy. He was like, oh, my God, that's my dude. I love him. And so then so he started asking me questions to ask Izzy. <laughs> So and so I, maybe the first few, I said, well, wait a minute, I'm not about to play AT&T and uh, keep asking him these questions. I said, how about you come on and ask him yourself? So I connected. So it was all three of us after I connected us. And so he got to talk to Izzy or whatever. And so then I think I asked Izzy something about a song or something. And so Izzy just started singing live on the spot. And so I was like, man, that was amazing. And so hung up with Izzy, and um, I, um, as I was talking to my friend still on the phone, I said, man, I wish more people could have heard him sing on the spot like that. And it was like the light bulb went off. And so I said, hey, let me call you back. So I hung up with my other friend and called Izzy. I said, hey, Izzy, if I had a website called Gospel Singing on the Spot, would you be, because I want to, I want more people to hear how you just sing on the spot like that. I said, if I had more people, if I created a website called Gospel Singing on the Spot, would you be the first artist to, to do that? And so he was like, oh man, that's dope. Absolutely. Just whatever you get it together, you know, just call me back. So I said, oh, okay. So I hung up with Izzy and I called my hosting company. That's before everything was all technical. So I literally picked up the phone and called them and asked them to register gospelsingingonthespot.com. And so I had a little uh, website um, design skill back then. So I went there and and um, was building it and, and heard him put the page up. And I went to MySpace and snatched one of his pictures and put Izzy coming soon. So I had gospel singing on the spot, picture of Izzy coming soon and his name. So uh, and by the time I did, it probably took about 20 minutes. By the time I did all of that, it was up and it was ready. So uh, I called Izzy back and said, hey, Izzy. Uh, remember you said if I had a website called Gospel Singing on the Spot, you'd be my first artist? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, are you in front of a computer? So he was like, well, yeah. I said, check out GospelSingingOnTheSpot.com. And he was like, no. I was like, yeah, go ahead, check it out. So he goes and he sees himself and he sees the coming soon. And so he was like, dude. I said, yeah, so let's do it. And so he was the first artist uh, that we had to do Gospel Singing on the Spot. And so, of course, you know, regular people, it wasn't indie artists, regular people were on there uh, singing. Now, some of those regular people that were on there are actually now recording artists. It's so funny when I see them, I'm like, oh, I remember that person. I remember that person. But uh, that's how gospel singing on the spot started. And so people uh, remember me from gospel singing on the spot. I often say I was the original gospel singing on the spot. There are many people that ha that do it now in various forms and various ways. But uh, one of the original gospel singers on singing on the spot was actually that platform where we literally just call the artist up and give them a song out of the clear blue sky and say sing. Now, let me fast forward. One of the first national artists, because remember, we did Izzy, but then we did Everyday People. And then the first national artist that we did was Vicky Winans. Now, let me tell you this. And you can go to YouTube or actually you can go to gospel singing on the spot.com to hear all this. Hey, Eric, if you don't mind, do me a favor. Uh, put gospel singing on the spot.com if you uh, if you're still there watching me or somebody put gospel singing on the spot.com in the comment section so people could just click it and go. But let me say this. So um, and this I'm still about to tell my age, but I had a cassette tape. <laughs> Of Vicky Winans. And so on the back of that cassette tape of Vicky Winans, it had uh, Vicky and her, the phone number and her email address. And many people know that Vicky still has the same email address today. And she still reads and answers that same email address today. But anyway, so 
the number on the back, I called the number on the back of the, uh, thank you, Eric. I called the number on the back of the uh, the cassette tape and uh, called Vicky Winers up because people was asking me to put Vicky Winers on the spot to sing. So she was the first national artist. So I called her up. And the lady that answered the phone, I'm ex trying to explain to her who I am. So I'm like, hey, my name is Larry W. Robinson. And I have this website called Gospel Updates. Or I think it was Gospel Interviews at the time. And uh, I said, but I also have this, this platform called Gospel Singing on the Spot. And uh, we would love to put Gospel uh, Vicky Wine is on the spot. So she was like, so how does that work? I said, well, what we do is we call our uh, people up out the uh, and give them a song out the clear blue sky and say sing. She was like, oh, my God, that is so awesome. Yeah, I want to do that. So I didn't really hear the lady say, I want to do that. I just heard her say, yeah, and that was hot or whatever. And so I said, well, OK, well, good. We, you know, get with Vicky. And, um, you know, see if she wants to do it. And then uh, here's my number and all that. And, and call me back and, you know, we'll set it up. So she says, sir, <laughs> this is Vicky Wattis. I said, oh, <laughs> well, you know, I don't know if people know, but Vicky's speaking voice is lower than her singing voice. So I thought I was talking to someone else, but it was actually Vicky Wattis. And so, um, and she did it. She did the song. I want to say it's either Till I Found You or Since I Found You. But that was the song that Vicky Wine and sang for me live on the spot. And of course, you can go to Gospel Singer. Eric has put it there. You can go to GospelSingingOnTheSpot.com and you can see that one. Dwayne Woods is on there. So many people. And some people I forgot over the years that I even did. Like, for instance, uh, there's this singer that is really popular now. But I interviewed him and put him on the spot before his CD even was released. Uh, actually, I did that with two artists. But uh, this particular artist, uh, he was he was just, uh, nobody knew him. Uh, and I'll tell you the truth, Maurice Griffin said, hey, you got to interview this dude. This dude is going to be amazing one day. I said, oh, OK. And so I, we made the arrangements, called him up, talked to him. And uh, he's so smart, man. He was just telling me, you know, you, you got to listen to it. But it was actually Jonathan McReynolds before the world knew who Jonathan McReynolds was. I got an opportunity to interview him about that music. And um, and then another artist, when I moved to Atlanta back in the day, I uh, kept hearing this song when I would go to concerts or musicals and stuff, uh, people would just sometimes they would sing just like the uh, a little piece of it. I never really heard the song from beginning to end for some reason because they would be singing a worship song and then they'll go into that song. Um, but I was like, man, who is that song? You know, everybody kept saying, here's my worship, take joy in it. And I was like, oh my God, I love that. And so uh, make it your dwelling place. And so I was like, who is that? Who is that? And so one day I saw uh, Devon um, Darius Polk at a musical. And I was like, man, that song you sang, here's my worship. Who, who is that? And so he said, oh, that's this girl named Tasha Cobbs. I said, oh, OK. He said, well, you could hear her at the Dream Center where William Murphy is. And I didn't know that William Murphy at the time was a pastor at the Dream Center. So I you know, found out where that church was and ended up going. And um, that Sunday, I think she even <laughs> sang a little bit of that song. And so um, I walked up on the platform at the end of the service and just walked right up to her <laughs> and said, hey, I, I keep hearing this song. Uh, uh, here's my worship. And uh, I haven't heard it from beginning to end because everybody been singing a little piece of it as you did today. But um, uh, and I think we connected to to be on my broadcast. So I actually interviewed Tasha Cobbs before that's the, uh, her project smile that me not smile but the um i forget the name of the national project because she released i want to say the record was smile um before she signed with the record company she put re uh, released the project independently if you have not heard that project which i think she re-released later Go get it. It's actually one of her best projects. And I'm trying to find it for you. Uh, let's see here. Amazon Music. Let's see here. And I actually purchased, did I purchase the physical CD? Did she have physical CDs back then? I think so. I want to say I purchased the physical CD way back in the day. 
but I just want to find albums. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so Tasha Cobbs had a, a, a project titled Smile way back in the day. Let me show it to you. Let's see if I can. This was it. Oh, I can't make it clear, but you can kind of see it. But uh, that project was titled Smile. Uh, it had songs like I Trust You, Happy Without You, and then, of course, Smile Your Heart, Heart of Worship, which I love. She has a song called Heart of Worship. Uh, and then, of course, The Smile, Confidence. I love that. And then she has a song called All Day. I love that. That features William Murphy. And uh, the reprise is on there and greater. But she actually re-released this in 2019. But I actually had this um, before, you know, when she first released it. And then, of course, she came out with her, the project, I think, with the pink cover or something on it. But anyway, just, just a little history. So most people that, that know gospel singing on the spot, that's kind of the history of that. And um, but anyway, so I came on here. I don't know how I got into that st uh, storytelling mode, but I came on here to give you an opportunity to support gospel music. I think you should, Victor. We sh we sure can <laughs> with you. <laughs> Text me. Let's talk about that. I, I I really do. But let me just tell you this, and you and you you guys can tell me. Um, if you think I should, and here's why. Uh, I pause because so many other people is doing it now and, and like doing an amazing job. And back in the day, I liked that it was less produced. And so I literally, I think what I liked about gospel singing on the spot is that I literally just showed up with my little, it was a little cyber camera back in the day. And I got people involved because I didn't have no entourage. I didn't have no camera crew. So I would just stop people and say, hey, can you record us? You know, and so people would, they would see who I was and, and, and saw some of the other videos and be like, absolutely. And then they would show me like, you need to do this person. You need to do that person. I love that. I love the fact that it was just on the spot, nothing overproduced. And you got to see people in their element. Now, of course, if you go back and watch some of those uh, original videos, the lighting was terrible, you know, but I think the people did amazing. There is this um, this young lady named Lakeisha Dixon Jordan. Listen, that girl had me crying. Y'all got to go listen. Go to gospelsingingonthespot.com. Hopefully somebody will put it in the uh, comment section again for you to click on. But if you go there, all of those videos from way back in the day are there. But uh I think we, yeah, uh, Victor, let's, let's do that. <laughs> let's start with you. <laughs> but, um, oh, here's what I was going to say. Uh, I kind of paused because, uh, you know, others were doing it. Um, one of the ones that I love, I think he's just phenomenal at it, is um, Terrell. Uh, although it's not gospel singing on the spot per se. His is just like singing on the spot. But I think he calls his uh, song association. So he gives you the songs and or a word, I want to say, and you sing a portion of the song. I think is how that go. And then also uh, in recent years, I I saw um, um, Lord, he gonna kill me. Um, gospel artist entertainment, and I forget my buddy's name, <laughs> but he does. So you think you can sing? And then I even saw uh, uh, James Fortune. And uh, Isaac Carey, they have their version of uh, gospel singing on the spot. And then just the other day, I saw somebody else now doing gospel singing on the spot. Um, and literally, he has another name, but it was so funny because he slipped up and said uh, gospel singing on the spot. And so somebody in the comment section said, well, no, you can't use that name because that's Larry W. Robinson. So I just thought that was kind of funny. But, um, but anyway, so... I might do it again. I, I was maybe try to do a different spin to it, but honestly, I really just liked showing up. So I may even just do like I used to do, just show up. Um, none, you know, not nothing overproduced and just boom, let's go with it. So if you see that in the days ahead, know that I was inspired to do it from this conversation today. Okay, let's scroll back. Uh, let's see here. Oh, let's talk about that. Yeah. So the Pace Sisters. 
I was in Atlanta, Georgia for the uh, release, I want to say, of Access Granted was the name of the project for the Pace Sisters. And I want to say I was interviewing um, Mignon Bolton at the time. And then I turned around and I saw the late uh, Duranis Pace sitting there. And I almost fanned out. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So I walked up to her and and uh, started talking and telling her who I was and, and just telling her some of the things that I do. And uh, I had already, let me just say this, I had already talked to Latrice Pace about interviewing them, but I saw Duranis Pace first. And so I told her, I said, well, hey, um, I'm going to be interviewing you guys today. And, um, and you know, just started, and she heard um, Mignon singing because I had put Mignon on the spot to sing. And uh, so she was like, well, tell me about that. So I said, oh, well, yeah, I got this, this segment of my broadcast called Gospel Singing on the Spot. And that's why I give an artist a song out of the clear blue sky and say sing. And her eyes lit up. I love that about her. She loved to sing. She loved to engage people. That just, she blessed my heart. I will never forget that encounter with her. So she says, okay, you, you got to ask us to do that. And I was like, oh, y'all, it's going to be okay? She said, oh, absolutely. Just, just, just ask. And I said, oh, okay. So, uh, and I'll tell you, sometimes I get nervous about that because some of the artists have been very unkind to me. We'll just go with that as it relates to that. But anyway, so um, uh, we did the interview and you can see it. Like you, if you watch both interviews, you can kind of see that transition. So I did that full interview with the Anointed Pace Sisters. And then um, I was closing. And I think we had gotten to the end. And so Duranis Pace was sitting kind of over to my left. And so she leaned, she said, don't you have something else to do? And I was like, oh yeah. And so the other ladies didn't know. They didn't know what we were getting ready to do. So only Duranis knew. Uh, during these Duranis, we, people say it different ways, but so I said, okay, well ladies, I have another segment of my broadcast called Gospel Singing on the Spot. And that's what we give you a song out of the clear blue sky. So they sing. And so if you watch closely, this is that gospel singing on the spot. You can all see them kind of looking at me like, oh. <laughs> so I said, yes. I said, if um, if I ever had a chance to give the anointed paces, there's a song. I forgot how it goes, that this would be the song that I would give them. And so, um, and I think, um, uh, 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 oh, what's my favorite pastor's name from, from Georgia? Uh, Dennis Martin, his wife, June Pace Martin, was sitting by me and uh, she was like, okay. And so I ended up giving them that song. And when I tell you they sang that on the spot and it was amazing, go check that out at gospelsingingonthespot.com. I went all around the merry go to tell you Eric Clark has released uh, it, this, this coffee table publication, but now he has this. It is the uh, Gospel Music Gazette, and this is actually the May through July issue, and you can actually go to his website, which is literally ericmauriceclark.com, to get a copy, and uh, it's amazing, and I'm so proud of him, but he uh, was one of our first uh, contributors to Gospel Updates magazine, so he was here early, and I just, I really went all around the merry around to tell you that, but anyway, if you're watching me in real time, I really got on here and I'm going to bring this to a close. I feel like a preacher that has had 50 closings um, to my sermon. <laughs> but uh, if you if you're watching me, I just wanted to come on to prove to you that or prove to people that people really do like gospel music and support gospel music. One of the ways that you can do that today is by going to gospelupdates.com and purchasing the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine. If you do so, I'd love to shout you out right here live while we're having this conversation. You can, um, it, once you, I give you permission to kind of go away, go to the website. If you're on your phone and you're watching me, go to gospelupdates.com, click there and get the June 22 issue of the Gospel Updates magazine, and then come back and say, done, and I will acknowledge you live on the air. And while we're doing, while you're doing that, I want to acknowledge some of the comments. Thank you, Eric. Eric says you do great work. He said, yes, I remember now. I, I connected with 
uh, Eric Maurice Clark because he connected a or he posted a picture of Dennis Cole out of Chicago and myself. I actually flew to Chicago to uh, what was I going to? I, went, I actually was going to to Chicago for a conference that my friend um, Pastor Dave John Davis was having. And one of his guests at the time was the late I, I, I own a lock, Bishop I own a lock. So um, I went to that for that. And while I was there, I think the local chapter of the GMWA was having a board meeting. And at that board meeting, I got to, to see Dennis Cole, as well as Desmond Pringle, who sang for me live on the spot. I want to say Mark Hubbard was there and some other people that I forgot. Um, but that was at that board meeting. And so I got to talk to and take a picture with Dennis Cole. And then, of course, Eric Maurice Clark posted that picture. So that's how we made that connection. Um, while I'm on that, let me say this. Um, while I was there, I um, I had interviewed Vashon many times already, Vashon Mitchell. But I called Vashon. And, and I just remembered, I was like, oh, I'm in Chicago. Vashon is from Chicago. So I called Vashon and said, hey, Vashon, I'm in Chicago. And uh, he was like, well, where? And I said, and I just happened to look out the window. I said, hey, I'm by something called K-Station or something. He said, I'm around the corner. Stay right there. So we pulled over. And uh, about a minute or two later, Vashon Mitchell pulls up. And literally, we interviewed Vashon Mitchell right in front of something called K-Station in Chicago. And you can go to Gospel. Uh, you can actually pull it up on YouTube. Just put Larry W. Robinson and Vashon Mitchell, and you'll see that that we're standing in front of something called K Station and uh, interviewing him. But I just thought it was so cool that I just called him and he was like around the corner somewhere and came and did that interview with me. Uh, thank you, Eric. Uh, Victor says he remembers gospel singing on the spot. Uh, Victor says he remembers the Pace Sisters. Uh, CC, oh yeah, I just did CC Winers not long ago. That was a that interview was a blessing. You can actually find that at Gospel uh, Updates TV. My interview with CC Winers. Hey D Carson, thank you for tuning in. Hey uh, Shante Moore, thank you for uh, tuning in. Uh, I appreciate all of you. Gospel singing was. I've seen them because gospel singing on the spot was the gospel and it showed up in Roski. Yes, that's what I liked about it. Um, I, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's what I liked about gospel singing on the spot. Then it wasn't all uh, lights, cameras, action. It was just me showing up and putting them on the spot to sing. So I really want to do that again. But I don't know. Do you think people would watch it if it's not so produced? Lights, cameras, action. And if it's just that raw footage again, I personally like that because that's how it happened. You know, I just walked up to him and put him on the spot to sing. One of my one of my all time favorites was Stella Award Weekend. And this was when it was in Nashville, Tennessee. I saw God Rest His Soul, Sean McLemore and Rhonda McLemore in the mall. They were so sweet to me. I will never forget that. As a matter of fact, I think I saw uh, Rhonda first and was like, and I was fanning. I'm like, what? hey. <laughs> and so uh, uh, she said, like, hey, Larry. I said, I want to put y'all on the spot to sing. Uh, uh, she says, well, I got, you know, Sean is, is over there. I said, oh, you think he going to do it? She says, absolutely. And um he he did. He was so nice about it. And Rhonda was so nice about it. I just I love I love that when I have and um, not everybody, but most of the people that I have met over the years, and it's been 26 years, I want to say now, have been very, very nice, cordial and sweet to me as it relates to what I've been doing. And definitely Sean McLemore and Rhonda McLemore. Was one of those people. I even, you know, who else was sweet to me? I met in the mall in um, in Nashville, Tennessee. Stella War weekends was Coco from SWV, sweetest pie, um, and so many others. But those are this those that come to my remembrance or my memory <laughs> now. But all right, so here we go. I'm gonna stop. I'll probably come on again another day, but I wanted to come on today just to show you that people really do support gospel music live and in real time. Now, if you're watching the replay, if listen, let me tell you something. You know what? 
if you have watched this long, because I have been on here, I don't know how long now, probably about an hour or so. If you have watched me this long, I have a gift for you. All I'm going to ask you to do is to go to gospelupdates.com and click on, uh, and you have to do this today. So if anybody watched the replay and do this, know that this is for people that have watched me live and in real time today. <laughs> but go to gospelupdates.com. Click on contact and just put, I watched you live and in real time. Do that in like the next five minutes and I have something special for you, okay? So go to gospelupdates.com, click on the contact form and just send me a message on the contact form and I'll know that you did this today. Now, if you're watching the replay, know that I did this for people that have watched this live. I appreciate those of you that have watched me live uh, okay, so I've been on an hour and 20 minutes. So if you've been on here this long, thank you so very much. Victor, I'm gonna let me see if I got your text message first before I hang up. Hold on. Yes, Victor, I got you, buddy. All right. Um, so we will talk. Matter of fact, I'm gonna respond now so that I don't forget. <laughs> um, but uh let's see. Boom. So I have sent you a response. Um, all right. So thank you so very much for tuning in. I didn't realize I was on here an hour and 21 minutes. I appreciate those of you that have supported uh, the magazine live in real time. Let me say thank you again to Bernard Williams as well as Victor Corey. Thank you so very much. If you see this in on the replay, I appreciate your support as well. I will come on and talk to you soon. Let's do this before I go. Here we go. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for the Larry, Larry W. w. Robinson, Robinson Show. Show. Celebrated media personality Larry W. Robinson presents Gospel Updates. Gospel Updates is the who, what, when, why, and where in the gospel music industry. Gospel Updates is a monthly magazine, weekly newsletter, video webcast, as well as a podcast. Gospel Updates has over 25 years of featuring people in the gospel music community. Gospel Updates magazine and the new Gospel Updates weekly newsletter document those who are continuing to help shape and write new chapters of this ever-evolving story of gospel. Go to www.gospelupdates.com. That's www.gospelupdates.com to get the latest issues. If you want to be featured, call or text 337-214-4046 or email gospelupdates at gmail.com for rates and details. Gospel Updates, featuring people in the gospel community for over 25 years. You're listening to The Larry W. Robinson Show. Inspiration for your eternal destination.